bad things happen to good people, but the way a person takes on their problems and whether or not they can heal can determine their lifestyle and outlook on people as well as life. Growing up, my grandma Tara raised me. My birth mother was never around for too long. She had a drug problem and went to any length to continue her habit. My grandma Tara was nice, but she had her own problems as well. She had a drinking problem and sometimes she wasn't always there. I remember she woke me up in the middle of the night to go to school. I tried telling her school was over, but she refused to listen to me till she saw this herself. Sometimes I wouldn't even go to school, and I remember having lice and being sent home from school a lot. I did most things for me and my brother, like asking for quarters to get food or just being his friend. We moved a lot and lived with people we didn't know, and our houses were always cluttered. When you're young, you depend on the adults in your life. Who were me and Joey supposed to depend on when everyone around us made poor choices? I will never forget the day they pulled me out of class and I was placed in Child Protective Services. I can remember every detail about it. They drove us to say goodbye to Grandma Tara and I grabbed a few things. I was so scared and I had no idea what was going on. I don't remember them saying much or telling me what was happening. They took me to a house where I'd stay and this is still a blur to me. After a few days, I was settled in and used to being around these strangers, but their true colors started showing and they became abusive towards me. I'd be on timeouts from after school till time for bed or having to sleep in the garage. Even their kids were abusive, but this was put to a stop. My social worker picked me up and took me to the park. She had people she wanted to introduce me to. Their names were John and Terry. I don't remember spending that much time with them that day because I was so distracted by playing, but our next playdate made up for this. They had a friendship themed picnic for us. I felt so special and I was so happy. I started spending more time with them and they were growing on me. I even started calling them mom and dad. I had never had this and I already loved them. They sat me down and asked me if I wanted to be a part of their family. They explained to me no one would ever take me away from them. I said yes and I kind of understood what was going to happen. Six months later, we sat in front of a judge and made it official. It took all these struggles to find my family, but I'm thankful for where I am and who I've become. My parents have given me love, strength, someone to trust, and a place to call home. I've learned to forgive, and I believe all these things were meant for me to go through to find stability. This I believe.